This is important assignments. I don't accept them late unless there's like, you've gotten prior, prior consent from me, you know, in like some dire situation. Now I get it. Like y'all may be, um, be like me out in the willy puckers and have shit internet and have to watch like your annoying professor instructor's video in lo-fi with lots of buffering or whatever. Or maybe you got like one computer in your crib and it's shared amongst your brothers and sisters and they all have like synchronous friggin' middle school or whatever. Just get in touch with me about some of that stuff if you if you if you have some issues like that or whatever. But um, you know, yeah, I don't accept late assignments. So here's the deal. At the end of each module, each day, you'll have a quiz. It will be 10 to 20 questions, um, and you'll have 25 minutes to chill. You have 25 minutes to, uh, to complete it, okay? So you can do it at the end of the module. You can do it, take a, a break, um, take a nap, whatever. Do it later. It's kind of up to you, but you do need to do it before you, you move on to the, to the, next, to the next stuff. At the head of each module, I'll give you kind of like instructions for the day and I'll give you uh, things to look out for in the lectures that will possibly, most likely be on, on the quiz. Now, anything that I ask you to read that shows up on the quizzes, um, I talk about in the lectures and I talk about on the slides. They're on the slides and in the lectures, all right? So like, just I won't like be quizzing you on random shit from the readings because that's, that's mean. Okay, um, and again, I will drop the five lowest quiz scores, and they're all multiple choice, true, false. You should be able to bang them out uh, pretty, pretty quick. Okay, then you have a choice, all right? So you can do a remix artist presentation. This will be due Monday, September 7th by midnight, okay? Uh, if midnight hits, you know, uh, you know the, uh, uh, the dress goes away, everything turns back to a pumpkin, whatever. Um, uh, so yeah, so basically this is like, choose a remix artist. So like the one you probably all kind of maybe have some familiarity with is Banksy, right? You can't choose Banksy, but choose someone that does kind of street art or does like appropriation art that does culture jamming, pick a piece of theirs or some similar pieces of theirs. Talk about the artists, their philosophy. You'll do like a presentation, um, you know, um, I give you a bunch of options on the you know of artists to start you know you looking down 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 the uh, rabbit hole, etc. On the assignment description, um, and then you're gonna do a five to seven minute presentation. Um, you're gonna do it uh, in Panopto, where you can show your slides, your Prezi, Google Slides, PowerPoint, Keynote, whatever you choose, uh, and talk over it. And you'll you'll record it there, and you'll upload it to um, to Canvas where everybody can see it um, and um, you know we'll all be required to give some uh, comments you know you know what I'm saying so that's one option and the reason why it's due at the beginning of the last week is that um, we need to give people time to, 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 to watch all the presentations or, or whatever so that's one choice you also do have um, you know something I will need from you is on August 31st um, you'll submit a, a short um, uh, proposal, one, two paragraph proposal of who, what you're going to do, just so I know you're on the right track and, and et cetera. Um, okay, so that's, that's that. Um, um, and you, again, you'll have to say like 10 students do a presentation. You'll have to watch all those presentations and make a constructive, positive thoughtful comment of how it relates to the course material you know you can't just say good job cool you're awesome you know whatever although you can say that and here's why okay the other option is an actual critical remix project so we'll be seeing art and works that are done by video mashup artists by street artists by graffiti artists um by culture jamming artists you know billboard artists etc um, that are doing really cool, you know, artwork where they appropriate, you know, famous copyrights. They appropriate famous logos, and they make a commentary. Um, well, you can uh, you can do your own critical remix project. So you can do like a subvertisement. You can do, you know, do a play on a Nike ad to say something critical about Nike or or whatever. Okay. Um, 
Again, this is the you know due Monday, September seventh. It will be submitted on Canvas. Um, you can do anything. You can do a sculpture, mixed media. You can do a video mashup, an audio mashup. You can do a two-dimensional thing. You can do a cutout, glue stick, collage. You can do a painting, wh whatever it is. Okay. Again, August thirty-first. I need a um, a short proposal just to make sure you're on the right track. And also, you will have to do a short one to two page sort of description of your the idea um, that you're executing and why is it a fair use and we'll talk about what fair use is and i'll actually go over these um these assignment descriptions in full like glorious detail and post those videos in a few weeks here okay um again these will be uploaded to canvas and each student will have to make one comment on each work so you get some feedback and the feedback will be um, discreet as well so you'll you'll be able to download and have all this this feedback okay for you to read about your work the last choice is uh, a synthesis paper now i'm hoping that not everybody chooses this because this is due on the last day of class at, again at 11:59, so it gives you a few extra days to write a paper you may not want to write a paper guess what I'm less interested in reading papers <laughs> um, as I am of seeing art or like hearing you talk about art. That, that's just me being, you know, realistic here. Um, but basically, your option is to do a synthesis paper where you basically kind of talk about, you know, uh, choose a topic from the class and extrapolate on a topic. So maybe you make beats, you're really into beat making, you want to talk about digital sampling maybe and, and law. Maybe... Um, you know you're going to school you're like pre-med and you're really into like you know um, patenting medical procedures or um, maybe you're really into the whole idea of you know um, musicians stopping certain politicians from using their music at um, you know rat campaign rallies or whatever okay so synthesis paper is basically you kind of like come into this class with you know a position and you have a, a bundle of knowledge about these topics you know more more or less and you know you've learned about this through you know school you know your parents the media all these systems have taught you about these things and maybe you know in this class you meet some ideas artists concepts that run against that and and you kind of come out of that with you know something more than you had before you maybe you didn't change your mind but uh, it's altered how you think about what you think you, you know what I'm saying um, and I'll talk more about this because <laughs> it sounds crazy a little bit uh, but basically this is a five to seven page paper where you have to choose a topic oh spanky you come to say hi come here bud come here this is my dog spanky it's so nice you came out to say hi. Uh, this is Spanky Davis, the Wonder Chug. Uh, sweet, sweet, sweet boy. Um, anyways, so you write a five to seven page paper. Now you have to do a few things. You have to, oh yes, I, I see you. You have to, you know, cite a few cases from class. You have to cite a few films that we watched, a few of the books that we read, uh, chapters we read, stuff like that. Um, uh, but you choose a topic of, of your choice from class and you could you know, go way, way, way beyond that as well. Um, again, there will need to be like, you know, a bibliography and all that stuff, um, but that's your choice. So you can do a presentation if that's what you want to do. You can do a, an artwork that makes a statement if that's what you want to do. And you can also um, choose to write a paper. Um, so it really kind of gives you all of the choices and each one of those choices are worth 50% of, of your grade, okay? Um, so happy you came out to say hi, dude.